Warning. The following episode contains foul effing language and strong adult content. This episode is rated M. Viewer discretion is advised. Permanent Pet Eclipse Return, Hyper Teleport Rock makes its debut, new hot time event, relay event clarification, KMS getting a whole new update, and people be getting dry raped. This is Inside Me. Hello and welcome to Inside Maple, the show that suddenly went to hell and back without even getting a goddamn t-shirt. But enough about this hell, let's get to the hellhole we all have in common. First off is that permanent pet equips are back until July 19th. Stop by the cash out to spoil your pet with one of these overpriced items. Except for the binocular, that's very reasonable actually. What doesn't make sense? No goddamn permanent pet sale with the permanent pet equip sale. Um, hello? Marketing? You're being idiots and not slamming our faces your shitty events properly. Next up is the debut of that glorious Hyper Teleport Rock. You can get a 1 day one for 2900 NX or a 7 day one for 9900 NX. Another item that came with it is the Aura Pendant, which gives plus 3 to all stats for 30 days. Both of these are available until July 19th. Looking for a permanent Hyper Teleport Rock, please? I will gladly do whatever it takes to get a permanent one for all my characters. I'll even do Moose stuff. But what I won't do is miss the new Hot Time event. Well, Unless the servers crash like they did last time due to shitty maintenance. Regardless, the event is on July 9th at 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it'll be a 2 times experience and drop event from 2 to 4 Pacific Standard Time as well. If you're lucky, one of you lucky bastards will get this medal. Can I change the name of the medal to I Have Bragging Rights, Bitch? Whoever gets it, can I rub you before I do any Gashapon runs? And because my reading skills are apparently just as bad as my goddamn luck, I need to clarify the relay event. It's only in the Chaos world where the level 30 dual blade, Evon, or a wrong character must be made. There's still some time to do it though, don't worry. Getting to level 30 takes maybe two hours now at the latest. If it takes any longer, then you're really slacking. Unless you're going a retarded dual blade build like I did, where you don't even get a double stab or triple stab and you have to whack everything until level 30 until you finally get Slash Storm. My god, why the hell did I do that? But to prove even more that my reading skills suck balls, KMS got a huge update with the release of the Cannon Shooter class. The first thing is the introduction of something called the Skill Link, which is available at level 70. I have no goddamn clue what it does, but it might give us one of our other character's skills. I have no clue. Along with this is a quick move and the item buyback option. The quick move allows you to click on the minimap and talk to an NPC, it sounds like. But I'm more than likely wrong on that one as well. But the buyback system allows you to buy back your items sold to an NPC. You know that time you wanted to recharge your throwing servers but accidentally NPC'd him and we all laughed at you, saying you were an idiot? Well, that pain in the ass situation is gone now! Yay! Another feature is the NPC Find feature. Click on the NPC name in the list and it's highlighted on the minimap where the NPC is. And to add to this all is that potions now stacked to 300, alchemy potions to 400, and pills from alchemy to 800. But with the release of a new class is the release of a new world, Legend. To go with it is the Legend event which gives you, well, Legend Teleport Rocks. It's like the Hyper Teleport Rock but it has a cooldown of 30 minutes after each use until it expires. Everyone also got a free character slot coupon to use as well. To go along with this, if you make a character and get it to level 50, you get a legend ring. Over time, it will gain experience and gain some decent stats, and the ring also stacks with previous event rings. Still doesn't beat the double Evo, crit ring, and dark angelic bless ring combo for classes, you know, that have a high crit rate. But that crit ring could also be replaced with a resistance ring or something for those who don't have a high crit rate. Huh. Unless there's an, you know a ring and a crafting system that gives you the ability to rape even more so. But to make leveling so much easier from level 50 to level 100, the Maple Admin will give you three 1.5 times experience coupons every five levels. Hey Nexon, do what KMS is doing. You'll shut a lot of us up by making us jizz all of our pants with something like this. But to shut KMS players up even more, at level 70 you get a special mastery book for your class. Alright, you know what, no, that's it. I'm telling the next on to fuck off. Mastery books are already a huge pain in the ass to find, and yet KMS is giving them out for free. But, to bring my rage back down, if you make a new character in Legend and get it to 70 more than likely, you get the typical bandana, but also frontier earrings. But since this is still Nexon, there's also cash shop things. Like the new hair coupon that gives some actual pretty good hairstyles. Oh yeah, and these are on new face styles as well. But for those of you who want to... Wait. Unicorns. Uh, I'll make this quick before song kills us all. Your unicorn pets in the cash up, collect all three, you can get a unicorn mount. Ah, kill the fucking music! Whew. 
With that over with, we can continue with the Legend Shop. The Shop of Legend lets you trade in your Legend Coins for some nifty items, all of which look to be useful. Just wish I had more information other than these pictures. Oh wait! Look at that! I do have more information for you! Actual stats for some of these items. Holy crap, I can do something useful! But how do you get these coins? Well, instead of paraphrasing, I'm going to be a lazy son of a bitch and just show you this image taken from Orange Mushroom's blog about it. To go with this, the profession system has had a revamp as well. Fatigue is now increased to 200, replenishes much faster, and the experience to level up your profession skills cut in half. To go along with this, to make me jizz even more, is that experience from making an item has doubled. Oh god, item crafting gives me a raging boner. But why is that? Well, for one, the NPC there now sells low-level ores to make leveling a lot easier. Two new rooms, and the time in the rooms has increased. The rooms are where you can farm the minerals and herbs, just as a heads up. But the raging hard-on isn't over yet. Oh no. The heart rocks and golden flowers now have a chance to get fully refined crystals and herbs and whatever. And these will help in smithing when you can upgrade your talents and reverse equips. You can upgrade your verse items into your abyss items, and your timeless items into your fearless items. To go with it, both sets all have an extra one attack boost to all gear, except for overalls. But to continue, the Von Leon sets can also be upgraded. Marx becomes Victor, Fox becomes Selene, Alma becomes Hex, Nox becomes Ska, and Skora becomes Mare. Or Mer. I have no clue. The Dragon Rider items can also be upgraded to become Dragonic items. Holy shit, so much upgrading nergasms! Wait, what's this? Jewel crafting also got new stuff? Blazing Sun, Half Moon, Immortal Hero, and Eternal Hero sets? And the Immortal Hero set has two rings where if they're both equipped, they give 25 all stat and 12 weapon attack and have a slot. And the Eternal Hero is the same but give 12 magic attack instead? Holy Jesus Christ! Oh god, can it get better? Oh wait, it can. You can upgrade your Dark Angelic Bless Ring to a White Angelic Bless Ring, which is 10 all stat and 12 weapon and magic attack. Oh my god, please, please bring this over. It will be very much appreciated. Alchemists out there also get new stuff, such as invincibility potions, increased drop in experience rate potions, and resistance elements and status condition potions. One even acts like Hero's Will and snaps you out of any state. I have no idea if it snaps you out of Zombify though. You can't kill zombies except with the bullet to the head. But to go with this, new items are also dropping. And new levels. So I'm just going to show this image while I clean to my laptop screen. Thank you, Orange Mushroom, for making my job easy. GAMS is also getting a hot time event, which hopefully won't turn out to be a bust like the GMS one was. You get 20 legend coins, better item, and an AP reset. Wait. AP reset? Holy fucking Christ! Okay, this is now the best update ever. What's the big bang again? You can also get a badge which gives 10 weapon and magic attack and 10 all stat. It's a slim chance, but it's still there. The new 1 plus 1 event also lets you give yourself a saved up experience in a bottle at level 30 and 70. You can also use it on any character in the server since it's account tradable. So, you can either leech your own character and level them up, or you can give yourself a nice experience boost. Whatever you prefer. The final event for KMS is some lousy gaga event and some lousy buff. It's not really noteworthy, so I'll let you read that in the link below. Finally, we talk about rape. No, not that time where daddy or mommy touched you in some spot on your body. That's molesting. And no, not that time where you met Bubba. This is dry rape. The worst kind. Why? Well, because recently there was a glitch with hired merchants where people lost their items for Frederick. Well, those items are never going to see the light of day ever again. You can't even get them back. And uh, to compensate, people who were affected are getting 25k and X. That is a very very small price to pay for people who lost billions of meso. And for those of you who got lucky and didn't have that much, you know, worth of value in your items in your shop, you kinda got lucky. You lucky cheating bastards. But to bring up another rape story that we all share, is that Apple Vase of Yolande, otherwise known as Carb Union, has pointed out a huge security flaw on Axon's behalf. Long story short, when we log into the website, your information is not protected by being encrypted via an HTTPS. To make it even worse, when we do your credit card payments, except for, you know, your NX, it's also not being secure. So your credit card information could be going around out there to someone willing to sell it off to some identity thief. Uh, I have no idea if that's 100% true. I haven't paid with a credit card in God knows how long. But last I remember, it was not HTTPS. 
and I'm realizing that now, and holy crap, I got luck. But anyway, so Thredo is on the next on forums and deserves some much needed attention. The link will be posted down below. And once again, thank you, Appleface, for pointing this out, and hopefully something does happen and it gets fixed and blah, blah, blah. With that, this wraps up this very vulgar episode of Inside Maple. Tune in next time for a normal version of Inside Maple that won't be as long. Until then, I'm going to go swear at my cat. Nah, I kid. I'm going to go pet her. Thank you.